I'm a lover of Sony. If Sony, if you're watching this, um, I would love to be sponsored or something because I love y'all, okay? Um, <laughs> Is go back way back back into time hello hello what's up you all if you're new here welcome I'm Chardonnay I'm a podcaster videographer and creative entrepreneur and pretty much I do a lot of things and I am super excited to do this unboxing with you all because y'all it has been a long time coming now before i get into the unboxing i basically wanted to do a chit chat about why i decided to go with this type of camera and also break it down for anybody out there who is currently shopping around for a new camera so let's get into it okay so this breakdown is for anybody else who's out there like me in the beginning especially very early on it was so many different types of cameras to choose from that it got completely overwhelming and i'm super thankful that more and more people are creating channels and just chit chats about the different types of cameras and reviewing their experience using the camera if you are also a sony lover and you love their cameras you will know that they have a series called the a7r they have a series that is the a7 and then they have a series that's called the a7s and so when you're in the store and you're just in there just trying to figure out what's the best camera for me to i don't know film youtube videos or to vlog or to film weddings or whatever the case may be it can be overwhelming if you don't understand like all of these different letters and numbers and what they mean or if the salesperson doesn't really have a good idea of the products and specifically sony products at hand and i think that a channel that does a phenomenal job at breaking this down and explaining it in depth is think media and i'll link them in the description box below but in short in case you can't get over to their channel and check out that video basically sony has the a7 r collection which primarily focuses on features that are great for photographers and then sony also have the a7s series or family or collection of cameras which primarily focuses on features for videographers and then sony also has the a7 series of cameras which are hybrid cameras that combines features for both videography and photography into one type of camera i don't know all the bells and whistles of all of their cameras but like i said think media they do a great job at breaking it down but for the purpose of this video i'm going to be sharing with you all why i decided to go with the a7s3 and then get into the unboxing for you all so let's get into why i decided to choose the sony a7 III. i personally decided to go with the a7s3 camera because i primarily focus on videography and I thought it was super funny because when I went into Best Buy to purchase this camera the lady at the desk she was like oh are you getting this camera for a hobby and I thought it was so funny because I'm like no you don't buy this grade of camera for a hobby that's just not what you do which is why it took me so long before I actually decided to make the investment into getting this camera because for the longest i kind of wanted to test out all the different cameras out there make sure that it was something that i was really comfortable with using all the different features and also get an idea of will it fulfill my needs so the a7s3 i decided to go with that camera because it is a full frame camera full time i work for a specialty coffee company and we make tons of coffee videos and videos about coffee and so we primarily use a cinema grade full frame camera for those shoots and as I was shopping around for the type of camera that I want to get in my research I found that they pretty much have the same body the Sony FX3 and the Sony S3 7S3 they basically have the same features is just a different body um, and a different setup 
things of that nature and so i wanted a camera that can be comparable for just my own freelance clients and things of that nature and it's the camera that i feel most comfortable with and i feel like it checks off all the boxes for all the things that i need uh primarily i shoot a lot of like social media commercials or event recap videos and people absolutely love that slow-mo effect where you can slow the video down and it looks super buttery and smooth and then now in this day and age where everything is just 4k and higher it only makes sense for me to get something that shoots at a 4k resolution also at that 60 frame rate per second setting so i'm excited about this camera like i said i've used it before i'm familiar with it i feel super comfortable about it so now that i got all the technical stuff out the way let's get into the unboxing of the camera this is the camera Uh -oh. not break a nail trying to open this box this is the camera i only purchased the body because like i said you can always rent lenses um i'll have a few lenses of my own that i've kind of collected over the years and i really only needed the body so let's get into this box okay. of course it comes with all the manuals and things of that nature Ooh, what's this register the product for a chance to win a thousand dollar prepaid card so these are all the manuals that come inside of the box it comes with a charging cable a USB-C charging cable, USB to USB-C charging cable. Is that a charging cable? I think it's a charging cable. It comes with a I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna have to see what that is. <sighs> yeah. It comes with a leather strap look at that leather strap let me show you what the inside of the box looks like packaging for me okay it's the packaging for me so yes it comes with the battery charger and the plug for the battery charger So this is the Sony A7S 3 look at that it comes with a screen that flips out the screen can also rotate this way and you can close it so look at that you can see yourself as you are filming you can close it you can do all the things with it. So yes, look at that. Yes. Look at that. So I'm super excited. Um, and your girl is ready to put in on work. So make sure you all like this video, okay? Don't make me find y'all. No, I'm joking. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I got a new camera and I am ready to roll out some videos. For those of you all who have been following my channel for some time now, you all know that 
outside of my freelance work I still very much so love having a full-time job I love having co-workers I love having a team I love having consistent income so I think I don't think there will ever be a point where I will just solely be an entrepreneur I do have that entrepreneur bug in me where I'm always going to do something on the side but I do like having a full-time job it's just that routine and consistency that I really love and appreciate and you just learn so much more from being around other people and I'm a lover of Sony if Sony if you're watching this um I would love to be sponsored or something because I love y'all okay um <laughs> just had to put that plug out there but my sony a5000 got me through a lot of my shoots you'll see that camera back there um that's my baby i've had that since the very beginning and i knew very early on that i was a sony girl i absolutely am a fan of their products i love the interface it makes it pretty easy and simple to understand and navigate through all the windows and I just love the feature of the e-mount lenses it feels like you're more so building your camera kit especially if you are a beginner professional grade cameras can be expensive starting out with Sony it has been just so helpful because like I said even though I didn't have the body I was able to swap out and rent higher grade lenses that will kind of give me the professional or higher quality look that I was going for until I could rent out cameras that I needed for particular shoots. I've always been into audio and video. I've always enjoyed just geeking out and just editing audio and video. Like I love capturing it. I love sitting down and doing interviews and chit chats with people. And it just gives me a easy way to connect with people. And for those of you who don't know, I actually got my bachelor's in television arts and communications. But early on in my career, I used to get so frustrated that I couldn't shoot 4K video on my phone or I didn't have the funds to go out and buy a professional grade camera or I didn't have the resources uh, accessible to me to go out and rent a camera for a project but I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough that there have been people around me to support me within my journey who have just allow me to borrow their camera or have referred me to camera rental companies that are reliable and good or clients who have hired me and was like look I know you are talented I have my own camera you can use my camera I just need you to come and capture and do the things so that's a story for another day obviously I can go on and on about how much I enjoy Sony products and my journey and things of that nature but if I did that wouldn't leave any room for you all to check out any of my other videos so if you like this video make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video